Well, how are you guys all doing today? I hope everybody's doing really good. I got the chest mount going here again, so look at this epic day in December. So look at this fun little section I just found on this December day. Got the little Charles bike up there. Stick around, you guys, gonna be fun. So yeah, like I was saying, you guys, hope everybody's well. As you can see what bike I got today. And I am trying out the chest mount again here. I know it's a bit weird of an angle, isn't it? I'm not, it's, it's hopefully it's gonna be more or less for the trials bike because it's hard to get the angles good with the trials because you're leaning over so far. That looks doable. Wow, it just, it just blows my mind that, you know, I look at that and go, that's pretty gnarly. On the trials bike, it makes everything so, you don't really have to second guess yourself. You can kind of just go for it. You know, even that line in the middle there looks pretty gnarly. Well, we're in second gear, watch this. Like not even, you don't even have to, you don't have to do as much body positioning and stuff as you do on the bigger bikes. Well, you sort of do, but. Very cool indeed. I just found a fun one to kind of challenge myself. I'll go up and then ride on that second tier. That's so cool. Lots of logs to hop up here too. What a day, I cannot believe. I'm not sure when I'll post this, but at this point right now, it's less than two weeks till Christmas. And it's like this. Check this line out, you guys. This is pretty cool on the trials bike. It's completely different than my bigger bikes. We were going up this one here. It's a pretty gnarly climb. It's actually really gnarly. But yeah, we can get up that, no problem on the bigger bikes. I'm not gonna do it by myself today on a trials bike, but wait for some backup or reinforcements. This other line's pretty easy. Just unbelievable, I love it. Back down's fun, it's kind of like a roller coaster. Watch. Down we go. Yeehaw. Actually that little wall back there looked kind of inviting. Uh, it's a little sketchier than it looks. Clean some sticks up and we'd have some good lines. looks like a fun little spot to practice your logs so whenever I'm doing this you guys I kind of pick a line out and try and break off as many of these little daggers as you can because those things sketch me out see these things yeah I should uh, get in here with a saw those ones aren't too bad there's not many there I play on those ones there's also a good log to practice on this is actually the one I was I'll put a link up here in the cards I was riding along the top couple winters ago on my Husqvarna actually that's a good one to practice on the Charles bike though because if you're surrounded by grass there's still bark on it so you get tons of traction it's a good three or four footer I'd say it's a good size log I think we'll give that a go just clearing out some head height ones should be a nice little runway there that's a big log. I think we can do it though. Look at that beauty runway. That's a beast. It's even a cool thing here. You could hop one, go one, two, and then up and over. I'm liking it. Okay, I think I'm gonna line this one up, take a couple runs at it, but I'm probably gonna take the chest mount off because there's a good chance I'll hammer it with my handlebars or something. I'll put my other camera up. I think 
I could actually clean that one. I know it's just a different technique, kinda. I think on my 300 KTM, I could probably get over that one. Cleanly, I mean, not, not belly pan. But maybe if I had someone here with me, I'd probably go at it a little harder, but being by yourself. You know what they say, don't push your luck. So I'm gonna give up on the big beast over there because I'm alone. I'm gonna try something a little more sensible, you know, by myself. The other technique I wanna learn is getting up on an obstacle on the rear wheel and hopping to the next obstacle. I don't know what the trials terminology is for that, but it's a heck of a tricky scenario. So what I've done, I found a couple logs and you can see they're tapered like a V. Here, let me look this way. So my idea is just start on the real small spot slowly work your way till it's farther apart as you learn it so let's see how that goes oh my gosh you guys that technique is not at all easy it is tricky to do I'll run a quick clip right now of some top level guys doing what I'm talking about you can see what I mean I mean, you can do it with a bit of speed. That's really not too difficult. But to get up on it on the rear tire and kind of hop there for, I guess, like a second and then hop to the next obstacle. Yeah, that's way trickier than it looks. Kind of got it there. It's hard to remain in one spot for any length of time. It just wants to either go backwards or forwards. You gotta guess use the clutch brake and everything to sit in one spot and hop, you know what I mean? Yeah, that wasn't very graceful, but I kind of got it there. Well, that was a fun day, you guys. I had the most fun, I think, on this little rock section. I'll run a couple clips, but it's little things like this that's gonna make you a better rider, or myself, anyway. You got a little hop ledge there, a little crevice that you can roll up and down. It's a perfect little spot. I'll roll some clips of that. Well, you guys, that's gonna do it for me on the short trials, Christmas trials vlog, I guess we could call it. 
you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit the old red button right there and definitely hit the thumbs up. Drop some comments below and let me know what you guys think. And the drop down arrow below, like this picture right here, that's got all my social media and stuff if you guys are curious what I get up to. And I will see you guys on the next video. Right on.